Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Quixo. And today I'm I don't know, this this is not kind of a vlog, this is more like an update on just how I'm doing and I wanna check up on y'all. And so last time I went and told y'all about motivation, alright? I did a motivational video. I'm trying to get y'all to, you know, move and just go to the gym and grind out, you know, so you get in best shape. That's always what you wanna do. Is life is just about, you know, just health, you know, overall. And I just want to talk about today, I just want to talk about what actually motivated me to go to the gym. And I'm actually going to start posting more gym videos because I haven't been really on my grind posting a lot of videos. And by the way, that's my friend Javier. We'll say what's up, what's up guys? guys. What you doing? Oh, so yeah, we're going to, basically me and him are going to talk right now while he's driving about what motivated us. So I'm going to start out first and I, and I already told him what motivated me. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say what motivated me was... Whenever, you know, when I was the smallest kid, I mean, I wasn't the smallest kid, but I was kind of, I want to say, like, one of skinny, the smallest kids. Really yeah, it's really skinny back then. You know, they used to call me Flaco. Basically, that trend, like, that's the Spanish word for skinny guy. So, you know, back then I was okay, okay with that. I was like, cool, you know, didn't really pay much attention to it. And then when I started growing up, I started opening my eyes wide open and seeing what, you know, just people are just dedicating their life just to just get in their self better generally like mentally and just physically and I was like bro I wish I was like them you know I can't do that for some reason I just I didn't have that motivation and that's another video that I'm going to be talking about who actually motivated me but I'm talking about generally what motivated me in general so like I was saying you know I was always a skinny guy and I wanted to change it you know I didn't want to be skinny I see I still see kids that are skinny and I won't say like I'm completely buff you know I'm still skinny but not as like other kids that are really skinny at least I have something you know not to brag and you know just yeah, that's basically what motivated me, you know, I have people calling me skinny and I just, I don't take that anger off on them, I actually take that anger off at the gym, you know, I that's like motivational to me, so you know, if people call you fat or skinny, don't ever, un like, just just don't even say nothing, you know, use that and use that as a form of energy at the gym, you know, just think about what they're telling you, you know, that's kind of a central central focus you want to focus on you know because they're like hating on you and then you want to show them who's the boss later on you know you just got to keep grinding that's what it's all about consistency and yeah that's basically that's my part of the story and i'm gonna give it up to javier here and see what motivated him and generally so what motivated you javier uh there was a bunch of things um first of all i was in the soccer team so um the thing is there i would work like work out 24 7 crazy for practice but i ended up not doing nothing for myself yeah so after realizing like what am i doing here like i'm getting nowhere yeah so i was like you know what i'm gonna just quit it quit the team and go to like a gym you know and get like get buff or get like a nice body yeah yeah. because yeah. in soccer you don't gain nothing mm -hmm. you run after a ball which is fun and you mm -hmm. get to like attack people and it's fun yeah the thing is you only get stamina in be in shape but you don't get like abs you don't get buff you don't get nothing mm -hmm. so that's why and i decided to go to a gym so i can get buff and do something for myself but not for the team but for myself mm -hmm. i'm not trying to be selfish you know because a lot of yeah. people think I'm, like think like oh you couldn't see because you know no I'm, it's, it's the first time i actually do something for myself something good yeah. for myself yeah, yeah besides the soccer team so that, that's what motivated me like realizing that you know what instead of doing something for them mm -hmm. and they don't like acknowledge it or might as well do something for myself you know mm -hmm. join the join the um, fitness and get buff you know yeah, yeah so that's what motivated me guys i don't know about y'all but whatever mot motivates you i hope um, you, you get there so. but don't give up yeah so what's your goal what are you trying to do my goal right now is um to get ripped i'm okay. trying to lose as much weight as i can um, try to get like abs, abs biceps, every, anything I can to do right now. All right, so you see, me and him are trying to basically he's trying to lose weight and I'm trying to gain muscles. You know, it's like that amorphosis and uh, whatever the heck they call it, stuff like that, like fat and skinny, whatever. You know, there's you can always change it no matter what. It's just um, you got to dedicate yourself to just grind out. You know, if you don't grind out, there's nothing. 
pretty much you can do you, you just can't expect to get freaking ripped in one day you know you gotta keep going to the grind you know me and him are going like six six days a week he actually yeah. missed yesterday uh but it's okay you know one day wouldn't hurt he had to go do something but you know the more you do it like i said it's the better and once you get in that habit you just want to keep going and we're actually at the gym let me show you real quick we're right there and we're about to go work out so i just want to talk about in general in general like what motivated us so like i'm saying they call you skinny or fat don't 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 even don't even stress it out man just do something about it now you just if, if you like think about it you you'll never do nothing you'll just be stuck you'll just be stuck there and stuck and you won't do nothing sorry about that my camera actually cut off but i was saying you know if you ne you'll never do nothing about it to, so you got to start now is now or never if you started the day I started and I actually did home workouts that day but now I'm actually I started going to the gym this year actually on December but you know I technically kind of this year but you know just gotta grind it out and this is pretty much it for this video guys I hope you yeah, enjoy this video uh, I just I can't say nothing else just make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new I said I'm gonna be posting more fitness video and actually I might post uh, a bit of a fitness uh, routines right now as I go in and uh all right, peace out, guys. Hi, guys. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid the trouble? We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. I remember that after I was finished with my bodybuilding career, I wanted to get into acting. I wanted to be a, a star in films. Everyone had the same mind that it can't be done. Just look at your body, you have this huge, monstrous body, it's overly developed, that doesn't fit into the movies. But, uh, you know, I didn't listen to all this, this were their rules. I was convinced I could do it. And then I got the big break in Conan the Bavaria. Trust yourself, no matter how, what anyone else thinks. And there, the director said, if we wouldn't have Schwarzenegger, we would have to build one. Then when I did Terminator, I'll be back. One of the most famous lines in the movie history, all because of my crazy accent. It just shows you never listen that you can't do something. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. Don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure, or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it's never been done before? So pay no attention to the people who say it can't be done. If I would have listened to the naysayers, I would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. I would never have come to America. I always listen to myself and said, yes, you can. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain. No gain. When you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. Success, 
with your hands in the pockets.